big reshuffle for Liverpool. In goal is Alisson. Virgil van Dijk plays with Dejan Lovren as the centre-backs. Jorginho Wijnaldum starts with Jordan Henderson in midfield. And Roberto Firmino is the one striker. Manchester City's lineup today. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off, and when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. Roberto Firmino. Jorginho, and they've got him behind here. In a goal, and into the net from Mohamed Salah. Salah's got so much better than that time that he's gone off the back of defenders. Very important goal in the context of the two legs, and they are in the second leg now ahead on average. Deservedly so as well, the way that they played over the two games, but still a bit more work to do. Just what he was asking for. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Mohamed Salah. Wijnaldum! And there it is for Liverpool! Good work for them in the second leg. Now, as you can see, they're ahead on aggregate. Well, that's given them a, a great deal of confidence in the body language. They've got a bit more freedom to the game now. Oh, his team haven't been at it. And look at the manager's face. You can't believe what they're giving him out there. Roberto Firmino with good vision here. Wijnaldum! Oh, it's a great goal! <laughs> An important moment in this second leg because that goal has put them ahead on aggregate. Well, all that remains now is to do the basics well. No mistakes at the back. Let's have another peek at that goal. I think this manager was pessimistic coming into this game and uh, those fears are being realised now. His team trailing by uh, a good margin. Mohamed Salah. He can cross it now. Sweeping upfield and scoring in style. Well, that is the perfect example of a modern-day counter-attack, Martin. Wonderful. Well, I know they've been working on this all week long, Martin, and boy, has it paid dividends. Lovely finish. Well, here's the goal again. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift, the substitution, I would imagine. Cleverly done. He's in. They can attack here from this wide position, Liverpool. Oh, what a happy goal scorer. He's found the way past the keeper once already, and now he's knocked in his second. And the hat trick is definitely on for him. Very important goal in the context of the two legs. And they are in the second leg now ahead on aggregate. I think deservedly so as well, the way that they've played over the two games, but still a bit more work to do. Nothing of the sort. He was top dog. Origi, powerful drive, close enough to suggest. Have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. Well, it's 
taken time, it's taken a lot of effort, but the final whistle has gone. It's over, and they are through this semi-final over the two legs on aggregate. It hasn't always been pretty, but they put the hard yards in, and I think they deserve it, Martin. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. So often we think of his creative abilities, that knack of picking out a pass, but today it was all about his finishing. A really good couple of goals in this team win. Kevin De Bruyne, I think if he'd have been in better form today, we might have had a different result, but the fact is he was below par, as was his team.